Hi, I'm Sanjay Puri. Post COVID, we are going to see a lot of changes that happen in this profession and in the industry as such. I mean, one of the most uh, important things is that everybody's way of working is going to change. What used to happen up till now is at the top of a hat, somebody goes for a meeting. Somebody goes uh, to discuss a certain point in a floor plan or in elevation or in a project or on construction sites. I think all of that is going to stay change dramatically because everybody now will have really well equipped homes as well as offices with large screens and be able to have these teleconferences or just log in by Zoom or any other app and be able to do these conferences and meetings virtually. So I think that's going to reduce a large amount of travel. So as a result of which, there will be less pollution because less cars, less flights. So overall, those are the good aspects. And so there's going to be a lot of change in the lifestyle and the way we work. In fact, I see what is going to happen is that every site of construction will also have be well equipped so that one is able to talk and one is able to discuss things with a client, with a contractor, with project managers and be able to resolve a lot of issues without actually having to go there. That's one of the main changes. In terms of construction, I think there's going to be a huge, huge lack in terms of project starting because workers have all gone. It's going to take a lot of time for everybody, everybody concerned right from the workers to the contractors, to developers, to clients, to be able to garner all of that, bring it all back together and restart construction. So that's going to take a long gestation period before work actually comes back to a certain amount of normalcy. We have realized now that we are not equipped to deal with such pandemics. The first and most important thing is that healthcare is lacking hugely. We need to have hospitals and a certain number of beds per so many population the way it is in the rest of the world. We've seen countries like Italy and Spain struggling even with that many large number of hospitals and they have more than 20 times the number of hospitals that we have in terms of uh, population ratio. But here we will need to have a large amount of healthcare facilities being made and constructed all over the country. That's number one. I see a lot of changes happening in the construction industry where I think that there should be work, workers shelters provided in every site so that in the case that this kind of thing happens again, these workers can have a decent place to live in with a cafeteria which is functioning so that they don't necessarily need to go out and try and go back to the villages the way it was happening now and inconveniencing so many people and it, it was really trouble for a lot of, lot of people, a lot of workers. As architects, what can we do? As architects, what we can do is create a number of very sustainable, easy to build structures that can work as temporary shelter spaces. But for this, the government and other agencies need to be involved so that there can be a number of these which are there everywhere, not just for this, but to cater to many other problems that could happen in the future like this.